Today, we are going to review how to solve two-step equations. Remember, when solving equations, we have to make sure that we isolate the variable we are solving for. Take the equation 7 plus 5z equals negative 18 as an example. We know that 7 plus 5 times some number equals negative 18. What does this mean? It means we have to make sure we figure out what value z equals to make this equation true. So, first step. Usually, we get rid of or cancel out the number not attached to our variable. In the example 7 plus 5z equals negative 18, this number is 7. Since 7 doesn't have any sign in front of it, we know it's positive. To get rid of the 7, we need to perform the inverse or opposite operation. We know 7 is positive, so to cancel out a positive 7, we subtract 7. After we subtract 7, we have to make sure we subtract 7 from the opposite side. Some of you might be thinking, why? Because we have to keep the equation balanced. So, negative 18 minus 7. Remember, whenever we subtract, we are actually adding the opposite, which means instead of subtracting 7 positives, I'm actually adding 7 negatives. Now, negative 18 minus 7 is really negative 18 plus negative 7, which equals negative 25. Looking back in my original equation, I have 7 plus 5z equals negative 18. I took 7 away from one side, which created a zero pair. Then I took 7 away from the other side. This leaves me with negative 25 equals 5z. Since I want to isolate z, I need to perform the inverse operation that will get rid of the 5. 5 is being multiplied by z, so I need to divide each side by 5. 5 divided by 5 leaves me with 1z, and then I do negative 25 divided by 5, which gives me negative 5. So my solution to this equation is z equals negative 5. That's it. You're done. Just make sure to check your solution, and you have successfully solved a two-step equation.